It's nightfall, but the work is just beginning. In southeast Missouri, biologist Bree McMurray and her team set up nets on tall aluminum poles in the woods. Ah, uh, we'll check in in about another 15 minutes now, but we'll get a bat. Finding the right location is key to catching a bat. On this night, it doesn't take long. It's kind of like Christmas morning for some people. You do have to be very careful when you are uh, taking bats out of the nets. They do bite. More than 80 participants, including biologists and students, take part in the bat blitz. University Forest, a University of Missouri Research Center, was headquarters for the three-night bat survey. Researchers collect data that will help us protect these surprisingly useful animals. Bats are very good for eating insects. Uh, a typical big brown bat will eat 3,000 to 7,000 uh, mosquitoes a night, so that's good for the homeowner. And good for farmers. With fewer insects, crops need less pesticide. But the bats could be in trouble. A fungal disease called white nose syndrome is wiping out hundreds of thousands of bats in the eastern United States. It has not shown up in Missouri, but if it does, it could kill 90 percent of hibernating bats. Without bats, insects could devastate crops and increase the risk of insect-borne diseases such as West Nile virus. Researchers say the bat gets a bad rap. People think, oh, think, think rabies and think uh, they're they're vampires, and that's not that's not it the case. I mean, yes, they do carry, you know, they, they are a source of rabies, but in a bigger picture, the benefits far outweigh their their perceived risks. My farm. That's why bat enthusiasts like McMurray look at these creatures a little differently than most of us. They're they're so ugly, they're cute, I guess. From the University of Missouri, I'm Kent Faddis reporting.